Hey guys, welcome to another video. On the schedule for today, I've got to finish up this XR250. So I am really excited to clean up all these parts and tear down the motor. And that's what you'll be seeing here very shortly. I get asked quite a bit how I get these parts so clean. To start things off, if they're pretty nasty like these ones are, I'll run them through the pressure wash cabinet first and then drop them into the soak tank. With most of the dirt and grease knocked off with the pressure washer, take them out and drop them into the soak tank. This is simple green degreaser mixed with water and heated to about 140 degrees, I would say. So I use two gallons of degreaser to eight gallons of water. After the parts have been soaking in the soak tank for about 10 minutes, I'll pull them out and pressure wash them again to remove the rest of the dirt and grease. So the chain guide turned out pretty good. As you can tell, the dirt and grind that was on it before is now all gone. But this linkage here still has a little corrosion and staining left on it. So I'll use an etching cleaner to brighten this thing up. This is the aluminum cleaner that I use. It is called Mag Wheel Cleaner, made by Eagle One. So I'll spray it on the linkage here. After the cleaner sits on the part for a few minutes, I'll use a brush to activate the product. On really nasty corrosion, I'll use a wire brush or scotch bright to brighten the part up even more. Here's the linkage after all the cleaning's been done. Pretty big difference before and after. I would say the real money maker in this process is the mag wheel cleaner. That'll do most of the work for you, and then a little bit of scrubbing will get that part looking great again. And of course, cleaning a part like this with bearings, I'll go through and regrease the bearings afterwards and make sure there's no water in there. As far as where to get this Magwood cleaner, you can get it at most auto stores such as AutoZone, Napa, maybe even Walmart or you know another super center might have it as well. When I sell a carburetor, I'd like the buyer to be able to just throw it on and run it and not have to worry about cleaning it. So this carburetor, I'm gonna completely disassemble it and clean it thoroughly.
stubborn bolt here on the base of the cylinder, which I believe is from rust and years of heat. And I've actually had these things snap off before, so I gotta be really careful. What I'm gonna do is heat it up from the bottom side with a propane torch, and then apply some rust inhibitor or a penetrating lubricant. This is what I've got here. MPPL, basically a penetrating lubricant. And that should help free up the threads a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
so much for watching and leave me a comment on what you'd like to see next. Oh, and if any of you need anything for an XR250, click the link down below and that'll take you over to my website. Alright guys, I'll catch you later.